Welcome to County Office, your complete guide to local government services and public records. Let's start learning. How to get EPA certification for HVAC. Hello, HVAC enthusiasts. Today we're diving into the world of EPA certifications. Buckle up, it's going to be a cool ride. So, you're an HVAC technician and you want to handle refrigerants? You'll need an EPA certification. The Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, requires this certification under the Clean Air Act. Now, how do you get this certification, you ask? Well, it's as simple as ABC. First, you need to enroll in an EPA-approved HVAC training program. These programs will equip you with the knowledge to handle refrigerants safely and responsibly. Next, you have to pass an EPA-approved exam. There are four types of EPA certification, Type 1, 2, 3, and Universal. Type I allows you to work on small appliances, Type 2 on high-pressure appliances, and Type 3 on low-pressure appliances. The Universal Certification? Well, it's like the golden ticket, allowing you to work on all types of appliances. Remember, the certification never expires, so it's a one-time effort for a lifetime of opportunities. Once you pass the exam, voila, you're EPA certified. But wait, there's more. You also need to maintain records of your certification. It's not just a piece of paper. It's proof of your expertise. So there you have it, folks. That's your roadmap to getting an EPA certification for HVAC. Now go forth and conquer the HVAC world. Take a look at the links in the description below to learn more. If you have any questions or want to share your thoughts, leave a comment. We're here to help. Thanks for watching our video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. We'll see you in our next video.